Welcome to our video devotional for today, Monday, November 30th, 2020. And I'm going to read a scripture that I think is just extremely important for all of us. It's in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. This week, we're going to talk about identity. I believe the word of God. The Bible teaches us that in the last days, perilous times will come. And we're living in those perilous times. And I believe a, that means a whole lot more than this temporary crisis that we seem to be in called COVID-19. Our world has and is rejecting all forms of moral decency. <clears throat> And moral guidelines are being removed one by one in our country where the end result will be there's no moral wrong and therefore in man's eyes, there's no more sin. And I think we're there in America. Each man, each woman, each child, teenager, they're doing what's right in their own eyes. And I could give you illustration after illustration of this or kids are left on their own to do whatever they want to do and they're being raised by the television or by some crazy movie. And what's that done for us in America? It's created an identity crisis. <laughs> in fact, the destruction of the nuclear family, where we have one man and one woman covenanted in marriage for a lifetime who produce offspring that they call, they identify as their family, that, that nuclear family has practically been destroyed in America. Children and teenagers don't know who they are, who they belong to, and they are adrift in life with every possible security being removed from existence for them. And this crisis has been brewing for nearly 50 years in, in America and longer in some parts of the world. And, and so I think it's, it's important right now in this, this season that falls... Uh, between Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year, this big holiday season in America, where all of a sudden it seems like, well, our identity is found in what we're able to buy someone, some some object for Christmas. And then they, well, they just love us so much for five minutes. <clears throat> Everyone who follows Jesus Christ must become well-grounded in the basis of their existence and understand who they are and why they're here. And I think that that all deals with identity. And the foundation of that understanding comes from knowing God and who we are in him. Therefore, I, I just want to be elementary this week and, and specifically today in, in sharing this strong point of our creation. God created man in his own image. Human beings, all human beings are created in the image of God. I don't care what nationality, what culture, what color of your skin might be. All human beings are created in the image of God. Every human being is in the likeness, the representation, and the copy of God. That, that gives me goosebumps. Without that understanding and training, human beings have real, really have no identity and and they end up attempting to discover an identity that's based on something that's temporary and transitory. And and that could be just anything. It could be work. It could be how they dress. It, it could be where they live, what they drive, how they are transported from place to place. And I, I, I want to read just a beautiful section of scripture that I, I know most of you know this scripture, but it, it's, it's just powerful. It's Psalms 139. It just... For these verses in here, it says, You have formed me in my inward parts. You have covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and skillfully wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes saw my substance, yet being unformed, and in your book they all were written, the days fashioned for me, 
when as yet there were none of them. Wow. I want you to hear this just so clearly today. You were formed, intimately formed by God in the womb of your mother. And God fearfully and wonderfully made you and marvelous are his works. And using the Bible as a basis of our understanding of who we are and what we are designed for can give us a lifetime of avoidance concerning our identity. We don't have to struggle with it. Without understanding that we are created in the image of God, we devalue life and we live to express the lust of our flesh in any and every way that we personally deem feasible. Where you sit today, where are you at right now, I must say clearly to you that you were made you were formed in your mother's womb in the image of Almighty God. You belong to him and you are his. Your identity is locked up in your relationship with God. Let's pray. Oh, Father, will you by the Holy Spirit bring life, bring light, bring hope, Bring understanding to everyone who hears this today so that we might know that we were made in your image and we belong to you. Our identity is in you. Oh God, break past all the, the fake stuff and the lies and the pretense and help us know that really it's who we are in you that counts and that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tearing down all those lies for us and, and helping us be encouraged in our spirit, knowing we're right with God. That's the most important thing. Thank you for that, Jesus. We praise you. We give you glory. Amen. Amen. Well, have a fantastic day because you are made in the image of God.